you know, Turing Fest has, even compared to 2016, tickets are more expensive than they were then. As the product has evolved, as the market has changed, who we cater to now is a little bit different to who we cater to then. So in, in 2016, you were probably buying your own ticket. In 2021, it's probably your company is buying your ticket. So the, 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 that's moved a little bit. Uh, and the, I think the products got better, the values got higher. But then, you, you, you know, those dynamics are, are, or those cost dynamics are very different when you go to online and maybe it opens it up then to, to people who, you know, a three, four, five hundred pound ticket is, is not within reach, whereas, you know, a hundred pound ticket is. So there's definitely, I mean, I, and this goes to the bigger picture that Rob was talking about before about, you know, what's the best way or the right way. I think that it's all just maturing and now we have a suite of different options and I don't think you know, a year ago, everyone was like, oh, I'm never going to an in-person event again. I don't have to, this is so much easier. I don't have to get on a plane or whatever. And then after a few months, everyone's like, oh God, I just need to see people. You know, and, we, and somewhere, you know, we, we, we should all take a step back and remember that we're still in the middle of this completely insane moment in history. And it's going to take time for things to even out afterwards. And they're going to even out in a different way. And the world is, is going to be indelibly changed. And one of the changes is that the way we connect with each other is, is going to be different, um, you know, and, and maybe better, let's hope. Um, so, so yeah, there's, I think there's a huge opportunity with using uh, online and, and hybrid events to, to, to reach more people, to give access to more people. And it's something I, I'm working to, to, to try and drive.